Hello and welcome to a new video about my scale project. Well, low cell project, but I want to do it with the scale. I think you remember this, this part, yeah? where I was really astonished that we can have it that accurate. And I like it now. I like it to have it accurate. So I decided to use this yeah, and make a little bit a better case, a case actually. And I want to have this like a kitchen scale. I want to have this um, operated by a battery. So this is this is the goal. Produce a kitchen scale with an with a display where you see how many grams and so on is currently loaded. Uh, make a button in there for Tara uh, and operate this by battery. Well, I have some things. But no battery case, it seems. Yes, here they are. I really should start to start to clean up my desk. First of all, which which uh, controller I want to use? I'm using this controller. Uh, this controller it's a Arduino Mini, uh, and it should be sufficient to operate this stuff. Uh, I'm of course using. This load cell uh, I've used here, I will reuse it. I use this ADC analog digital converter to connect then to this to this uh, Arduino Mini. Yeah, that's one. And then I need to somehow uh, so we have somewhere our Arduino Mini. Then with the load cell. Then we have this ADC here. Here's the ADC. And this here is the Arduino Mini. Alright, so my load cell and my ADC, they are connected via four wires. This is not an issue because that's it. And our, what do we need here? We have VCC, we have DD, we have, we have ground. So we have here ground. We have VCC. And we have here the two data lines. This this clock and DD. What do we call SCK? SCK. These I will connect here. And then we have to power supply this whole stuff. Yeah? Therefore, I'm going to use this battery pack. Battery pack somewhere. And I'm going to use two times AA. Yeah. So we're reaching three volts. Okay, so we have somewhere a plus output and a minus output. All right, and then I'm going to use this here. Yeah. This is a DC DC converter. DC DC, well, it's not one, it's, I think I can break it. See? 
Yes, working better than expected. Uh, DC DC converter. Uh, step up converter. So we're going in here, plus and minus, and we will adjust this. And now the question is, to where to adjust this? Yeah. So we have a step up converter here. We will put this plus line here. Let's make it an orange plus line. It's only three or three volts. And also the minus line we will. And here. I'm going to adjust this to 5 volts output. Yeah? I know the Arduino, there is a V in pin, yeah? there is a V in pin somewhere, yeah, here, ground, V in, V in. I don't want to use this, yeah? because then I have two, then I have the battery, then I have a step up converter producing 9 volts or whatever yeah? from this battery. Yeah? I have here an efficiency. I will lose power. And here on the Arduino Mini, if I would use this voltage in pin, then I would lose again power. And I am not using more than 5 volts somewhere else. So I am going to directly produce here plus 5 volt. So here we have 3 volts. And we will produce plus 5 volt. And on the secondary side, we will... I'm not sure if I can power supply this by this 5 volt pin, hopefully. And if not, I'm going to power supply this by USB. So we will produce here... We will go to the Arduino. We will connect here to ground. Here plus 5 volt. We will also go to the Arduino. And here we will go to VCC. Alright. And then we have then this thing should already work. Yeah? And then we have the issue that we want to, to use a display. And I've looked pretty long. Here is a display now. Yeah? It has no backlighting. It's just LC display. Yeah? Liquid crystal display with reflective sheet in the, in the end. And I hope, I really hope it works exactly the same way as the ones with the, with the, with the background lighting. Yeah? So here we have somewhere a display. Oh, we also have to power supply this with plus 5 volts somehow. Yeah, yeah. zack, zack. Then there's probably something for the contrast. And then we have some data lines connected to our Arduino Mini. Uh, data lines. I don't know where, I don't know. I think four data lines are sufficient. We will see how much we will need. So this is the plan. This is this is what I try to to uh, do. No, wrong wording. Display. Liquid crystal. Wrong wording. This is not what I try to do. This is what I do. This is what I'm going to do. The next videos I will try to, to reach this. First step is uh, 
to use our Arduino Mini and the liquid crystal display. Yeah. So change the program to Arduino Mini, connect this load cell to Arduino Mini so that this is working with the Arduino Mini. Step one, step two, liquid crystal display. Okay, next videos. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.